Get my Project X beans. So I did three scoops, which is, I've already done this before, so it's about 23 grams of coffee. First, I'm going to bloom the coffee. Blooming just means getting it wet. They say that you should do double the amount of water to coffee. So if you put 23 grams of coffee, then you should put like 46 grams of water. 46 grams of water is basically 46 milliliters because one gram of water is equal to one milliliter of water. But here's the thing, I'm not going to weigh it, I'm not a weighing guy, I'm not going to do the timer because I just don't want to man, I don't want to use a timer whenever I make coffee. So, there you go. Now it's in focus, woohoo, it wasn't in focus. Alrighty, let's just give it a few seconds. difference like good coffee makes like fresh coffee got this yesterday from Metropolis alright actually that's plenty long Ooh. Oh. the smell compared to my use the store but coffee is so different it's much more aromatic much more fragrant oh man it's like really good there are different schools of thought in terms of whether agitation is needed I'm naturally an agitation guy but I also do like just using the water to agitate. Now I've seen videos where they say um, the ratio of water to coffee should be like 13 to 1. But I've actually found for my personal taste, at least for my dark blend, to be uh, 20 to 1. It's very different. Now the instructions on the Metropolis website suggest closer to that 20 to 1 ratio or 18 to 1 ratio. So today, this is my first time using these beans. I'm going to go for just short of 200 milliliters, not 200, 400 milliliters. So I'm aiming for just shy of 400, so I'm just going to do a little bit more, and hopefully that will be good. So we shall see. Look at that, so pretty. I don't think it was in focus before, but that's okay. Uh, I, I keep wanting, I know I add too much water, but whatever. It's my coffee. Okay, yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. No more, no more. So I did about 23 grams of coffee to about 390-ish milliliters. That's about 375, actually. So I'll get a little bit more. Oh, it's so nice to see those grounds settling at the bottom. Look at that. Okay, that's enough. Maybe a little too much, but that's okay. I already have these pre-warmed cups right here. And let's check it out. You should see the uh, the coffee grounds. It looks different. Mm. Different aroma.
Mm. It's the it's the lighter notes that you get, I think, from older coffee that you don't get. Much more, it's a larger range of flavor, right? And I don't know if it's because the coffee that we get, because it's store bought, it's not fresh ground. Because this is the special bean release. But to me, this just tastes good. It's not like. Oh my god, I never had this type of coffee before. Mm. Oh man. This is very good too. Yeah. I almost wonder if we should switch to. I don't know, it's much more. Just again, much more balanced. Mm. Right? And then more pleasant. Yeah. So even though the, our caribou coffee is good, but after you have this, you're like, ah, oh, this is what really we want from a cup of coffee. Okay, I'll just do a quick. Mm, what should I say? So that's my morning cup of coffee. It makes a big difference. I don't think it's because of the blend. I, the, it's a special blend, Project X, which it's good. The, the beans are good, but I think more to the point, the quality difference is the freshness of the beans. Because when you go to Jewel, when you go to, you know, to Trader Joe's, the fact is you're not getting freshly roasted beans. And these are these beans. I don't know when they were roasted, but you know they're definitely more fresh than what you get at the store. And um, they were ground yesterday. Uh, like they come in whole beans, but then they ground it for me at the store, which is very typical for a natural coffee house. But yeah, it's what was, it, what was I saying? So yeah, so it it does make a difference. Fresh ground coffee, freshly roasted coffee versus store bought coffee, huge difference. We've been. The same technique I showed before with these beans, that I do that every day with my store-bought beans. Um, basically same ratio, uh, same water temperature, same like just same process, but a huge difference. And I think and it just comes down to freshness. So buying fresh beans is worth it. You do pay a premium for it, but if you want a really good cup of coffee, you kind of have to go freshly roasted beans. So I think I'm going to think about our coffee habits and our coffee spending habits. Especially since we don't eat breakfast anymore. So why not put more money into good beans? And Sujin is nodding her head so maybe we might just switch to only Metropolis Coffee or some other fresh provider of, of coffee beans. It's worth it. Uh, if you like this video, please click like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting more foodie videos as soon as I can. Thanks.